guys, can you believe we are all ready to our fall home tour collaboration? Welcome everyone to my home. I am so happy that you're here. I want to thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me in my home. And I want to thank everyone that is joining me in this collaboration. I will have their channels underneath in my description box please go and check them out show them some love if you haven't subscribed to their channel please do so they are all wonderful wonderful people with that being said let's get started guys all right let's go ahead and let's get started on my coffee table anyone that's followed me you know I did this uh, particular uh, centerpiece or tray I should say for Tracy's holiday cookie diva Second hand Tracy Ann, I think is going to be her new name. I'm pretty sure. So, anyway, I did that for this and I liked it so much I left it just as is. So, here are the pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I incorporated, as you can see, that real light green that's very popular this year, along with the black and white check. And this adorable little owl that so many people have hauled. He is so cute. And then I just had that laying on a bed of rust leaves because I wanted that pop of color because to me, that's what autumn is. Fall are these beautiful colors. And then over here is a candle I got from Bath and & Body and I did a haul on that. And that is the pumpkin vanilla and guys, it is delicious. And then over here is another iron pumpkin that I got from Michael's probably five or six years ago. And in that is an LED candle with some fall leaves and this little cutie, my Everly. Okay, so that is the coffee table. Okay guys, this, I am in love with. What I did is, from my haul that you saw from Hobby Lobby, I got this fabric banner of the black and white check and the burlap, and that set the stage for me for my mantle. And then I just put a crop load of these vibrant rust and burgundy leaves along with the white and green pumpkins and these daisies from Joann's are just adorable and then up here I added into my jar that is covered with chicken wire and I have little twinkle lights inside of there. I added to my cotton bowls that I have up all the time a pick from Hobby Lobby. And that looks really nice up there. And then these shutters I got from Hobby Lobby. And I think these were when they were 75% off, pretty sure, because I've had them for a long, long time. I just put them up. And then these candle holders I had on the other side of my den and I brought them over to the fireplace. And here are the candles that we made together and those were on top of my candle holders that we did with the pumpkins. And here's the welcome sign, welcome to our home and I have that on my gate. And up here my magnolia leaves, all I did is I put a pick just one pick from Hobby Lobby, a fault pick. And then on the other side, another candle along with another shutter. And I'll move back in a minute so you can see the whole thing. And then down here are the adorable pumpkins that I made. And my inspiration primarily came from Tracy at Tracy's Country Charm. I believe her channel is, I'll link her below just to make sure I have the right name. 
but she did such a cute job. I saw some on Pinterest, like I told you, it, when I made these. Um, and they were cute, but when I went onto her channel, I was sold. So these are made with Dollar Tree pumpkins, and also I made um, some with cereal boxes, and I'll show you that. And then this welcome, y'all, that's from Hobby Lobby I've had for a couple years. And then this lit pumpkin, that was from Michael's, and I've had that probably about eight years. So there's that. And I wanted to keep the black and white incorporated into my family room. And then over here is another, and here on this side is another one that I made. And this is just scrapbook paper and some picks and ribbon. And these used to be Dollar Tree pumpkins. And I wanted something to go with this It's So Good to Be Home because I wanted to keep it and incorporate it with my fall decor. And I liked the way it turned out very much. And then this chicken, I've had that forever. And I think this chicken, gosh, you know, I want to say it came from Ross years ago but i really really liked it here so again here is the fireplace And then over next to the fireplace is this ladder with these flower, galvanized flower uh, pots, if you will. And I just layered fall leaves, a pit berry from the pit berry farm, and I wound some twinkle lights around it. Also with some flowers from the Dollar Tree. So I like the way that turned out. And then over here on the end table, all I did is I put this little sign from Hobby Lobby. And the green that goes, I wanted that to tie in with the green pumpkins that I incorporated this year, along with some more of those vibrant leaves. So that's my end table. Over on this end table, what I did is I took an olive tin from Hobby Lobby, and this was on clearance, and I got this for $3, and it was regularly 11 which I would never spend. Then in here, look who's trying to hide. Look. A turkey. And then here's some more pumpkins, along with a candle. From Hobby Lobby and another pumpkin that one's from Michaels and then these two bottles those were apple cider bottles and I did a DIY on those last fall so you can go check that out but those are really pretty with this end table so there is that. Then on my TV, all I did is I took some of these leaves that were from, uh, gosh, were these from the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby? I don't remember. Dang, I hate when I can't remember. <laughs> I don't though. But I just scattered some of them on the TV. And then there's another pumpkin that went along with that big one that's on the coffee table from Michael's years ago. And that just holds a little tea light now. So there we go with that. Okay, on the top one of my three-tier tray are, is a Boyd's Bear, which I used to collect a lot. I think they're adorable. And look at this guy, he is so nervous. Oh, he is so nervous he's gonna get it. You're not getting it, honey, don't worry. You'll just be sitting right there. And here's another pumpkin, and these are from Hobby Lobby. 
and I'll go over on the other side so you can see from the other side as well. And then down here, another Boyd's bear, but this one's a moose, and he's holding a pumpkin. What I like about the Boyd's bears, they used to be so detailed. It was nuts. I mean, for such little figurines, I mean, they just really added so much cuteness to them. And then over here is a frame that I got from Hobby Lobby years ago. And I've never changed the pictures on these. <laughs> I think I'll always just leave them the way they are. And some of the, these two, he's 20, no, how old's Nathaniel? He's 24 and Aubrey's 15. So here's a few of my grandkids. What I need is I just need to get some more of those pumpkin frames and put them all the way around <laughs> Think because I just don't have the room. I've got too many of my grandkids. And then here is another Boyd's bear. Look at her. She's a cat. Look at what I'm talking about, you guys. Is that adorable? Oh, I just loved these. And my kids, knowing that I collected them, they would get me these sometimes. And let me show you this one up here. Oh my gosh, look at, look at how he's holding the turkey. And look at the detail on that turkey. So cute. And this face, oh my gosh. <laughs> he cracks me up. So cute. Then on the third, uh, <laughs> I'm still laughing at him. The third tray is some more pumpkins and leaves. And then I got this little plaque, this 3D plaque from Hobby Lobby with some turkeys. Some more of the pumpkins made with burlap. And one of those straw bales, those little ones, with more pumpkins. And here's one of our cutouts that we did for fall. How perfect is he going in here with all his other little turkey friends huh what do you think looks pretty cute virtually costs nothing just your printer and a cereal box I like it and another 3d little plaque and then my tray is sitting on one of the little placemats from uh, Walmart so that worked out perfect. So let me stand back a little bit so you can try to see this in its entirety. Let's see, I'm trying to get where you can see more than a shadow. I'll take pictures at the end, guys, which I always do, and then you can go ahead and look at the pictures, because I'll take them later on in the day where the sun isn't so uh, bright coming through the window. But that is my three-tiered tray. All right, now let's go on into the kitchen. Okay, now into the kitchen. Here is an Honeycrisp apple from Trader Joe's and I'm telling you when I opened the lid of that candle no joke It smelt the whole kitchen up and not even lit just opening the lid of the can. It is wonderful and That is on a leaf plate that I've had. Oh my gosh I've had this leaf plate for years and I got it at Kohl's and then over here is my trusty basket that I do a lot of decorating with and I have and what inspired me to do this particular deck decor piece was this and it's the kitchen made fresh baked pies and that was from Michaels and at first I had it on the just on the uh, uh, easel in the kitchen and I thought you know what there's more you could do with this to really really make a statement 
So what I did is I just lifted it up and put all kinds of fall leaves and pumpkins and apples into the basket and then laid that and then laid the basket on these burlap leaves that I've had forever and a day from Hobby Lobby. And then here's our cutout that we did. And how perfect does she look? Cutting the crust of the pie, her apple pie, to bake. And I put just a little bit of glitter on the apple pie. And the only other thing I did is a little glitter on the apples and then put some lays to be like the cuffs of her little socks. But again, guys, do you see what I'm talking about? When you do these cutouts, right away I knew what I was going to do with her because of the decor piece I made with this pie tin. And it all started with the pie tin. And I could have left that on an iron easel by my sink in the kitchen. And it would have been cute. Doing it this way adds a whole new dimension to that pie plate. And especially when you add her into the mix. I really hope you will look into these different little prints and find something that you like and try it with your decor for different holidays. I love them. I think they're great. So that is on the island here. And my light, I love this light that I got from Hobby Lobby and I love the light bulb. All right, up here is my big huge rooster that I absolutely love from Hobby Lobby. Love, I think he is so beautiful. With more pumpkins, and then this little wagon I got from Michael's a couple years ago at fall time. And I just put corn and uh, some leaves. And then this tall give thanks, share your blessings, family and friends, bountiful harvest, pumpkin pie, hot apple cider, bless our family. I can't read the rest. <laughs> it's hidden, but I got that from Hobby Lobby as well. So there's that little vignette. Then when we come over to where my sink is in my window, and again, I have a very wide from my sink back to my windows, which I love for decorating. Um, here is my cloche with my clock in it. Thinking outside the box. More pumpkins. Loads of leaves. Here's another, look at this chicken, isn't she pretty? She's from Hobby Lobby. And she's sitting in the scale from Michael's. You're pretty brave sitting in that scale, letting us know how much you weigh. And then uh, here's a, a decanter that I got from Ross. And this was just a few dollars and it's beautiful. And then up here on my shelf, I have my flower sifter with all kinds of pretty orange and rust leaves and flowers. And then over here is the light that I got from Hobby Lobby about a year ago and it goes perfect in here. And my little crows that I just adore they're wooden, they're from Hobby Lobby with the black and white pumpkins that are also from Hobby Lobby. And so those are what are sitting up. Look at, look at those eyes. Sitting up on my top shelf. And then down on the second shelf, next to the sifter, is another tea light holder from Michael's from years ago. And here's some more of my chickens. These are also from Hobby Lobby. And this was in the spring, uh, spring decor with the white pumpkin and then this hello fall was from Michaels a couple years back with more pumpkins and then over here this grater from Hobby Lobby and it's all rusted up 
inside of that and you can't see it right now but I put some twinkle lights so I'll try to take pictures at night and then you can look at the pictures at the end of the video and I just have more of these pretty flowers from Dollar Tree the burlap and here's a pumpkin a black and white pumpkin so there's that on the second shelf okay and then on the bottom of the shelves I took this brown apple basket you guys I got this dark brown and it is nice and it's big at Walmart for two dollars on clearance I got two of them you'll see the other one in a minute and then here are more pumpkins that I just put in I put some excelsior in the back and then this autumn blessings I've had that for years and years I can't even remember where I got it you know what I think I got it at a little boutique as a matter of fact now that I'm thinking about it along with more pumpkins nestled in the back and here's this little crow from the 99 cent store a couple years ago along with more pumpkins and corn and here's another chicken from Hobby Lobby and these chickens stay up in my uh, kitchen all year long I cannot wait to put up the stuff after the holidays that Maria got me remember that that happy mail oh my gosh she got me so many cute things I'm gonna put up in this kitchen it's gonna look adorable thanks again Maria and then here the farm fresh milk that came from Hobby Lobby and I've had that so some stuff I don't move I know some people might move a lot of their stuff out of the kitchen and just do it all up for fall but I do keep quite a bit of stuff that I normally keep in my kitchen up now I will say for Christmas then this stuff will go down but for uh, fall I thought it worked perfectly and then the orange lights are from the 99 cent store these little twinkle lights can't see them too well in the daytime with another tea light holder from Michaels here's the other bushel basket apple basket whatever you want to call it and I have that sitting on this little stand that comes from the 99 cent store and what this is this is a um, plant stand but I use it as you can see for different things in the house decorative wise and here is my block calendar from Hobby Lobby with October 13th which is the day that you are going to be seeing this for my fall home tour collaboration so there is that and then over here I have a little pumpkin and then here is my candle warmer which I love from Hobby Lobby I strongly suggest getting one of these they your candles have a life forever on this and that is my pumpkin peanut brittle candle over here holding my coffee that I'll be drinking shortly is pumpkin spice and chill mug and that came from I think that came from Hobby Lobby along with this little pumpkin that says happy harvest to my uh, double oven here are the towels that I got from Walmart which are beautiful and there were two in a pack but I think they are so pretty so that is on my oven so here is an overview the best I can get it of my kitchen let me stand back a little bit and that is what that looks like so now let's go into the formal dining room and living room okay guys here we are in the formal dining room and boy do we have a lot to look at here <laughs> okay let's start out with the blessing of the Lord be upon you I got this at the Hallmark store years and years ago and this sign has been everywhere in my decor and then over here is a little pumpkin on my makeshift cupcake stand that I did with a Dollar Tree candlestick and a Bath and Body candle lid that I spray painted and then over here 
is the brother of the crow that's in the kitchen and he's checking everything out with some really pretty autumn flowers and those came those came you know what those came from Walmart and then my apothecary jar which I love decorating with apothecary jars and they're not cheap so sometimes if I find really pretty um, glass that holds you know food of some kind I keep them because they are kind of pricey and then up here on this cake stand look look how cute she goes with this she's holding an apple pie and a pumpkin pie and she is with this topiary that I've had forever and that came from and this came from Michael's probably 10 years ago look at him please I want you to look at the owl and he's hiding his eyes because he knows he's not supposed to be here he's waiting to dip into that and that my friends is my faux pumpkin pie that I am teaching you to make this is a faux pie yes it is and this is also on a candle holder I made a cupcake holder I should say out of a plate and a Dollar Tree candle stick, a candlestick with a pumpkin and then this fresh baked pumpkin pies came from Big Lots and I have a tea light behind it you can see it shining and at night it looks really pretty so doesn't she look adorable with the pumpkin pie so cute and this is a candle that I've had for a long long time and I don't keep it lit for a long time because I want to keep it for my decor and that again is on another cupcake stand that I made and then these hurricane lamps I've had forever and they were all glass and what I did is I spray painted the base if you can see a dark um, well actually it's the Rust-Oleum rub oil bronze here's another one that really turned out good and then this guy look he's just laughing because he's not the one that's gonna get the axe so I put him up here so that is my dining room table over to my bar cart and the bar cart I made and dedicated that to pumpkin spice coffee and tea so on the top shelf I have this pumpkin that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and it's quite big and then this candle my daughter-in-law got me from An Anthropology I think it is is that the name of the store I think but it smells divine and I am not kidding it's pumpkin souffle it is beautiful and then this little scarecrow I got from Hobby Lobby and this happy pumpkin spice season when I got that I knew I was going to put it on my bar cart that came from Hobby Lobby and then this pail I got that on sale as well and I think gosh I think that was a couple dollars and that was from Hobby Lobby and it was in their spring what it was it was on their spring uh, 70 no it was 95 percent off so it cost me just a dollar or something but look at it how pretty and then I just filled that with my K cups for my little coffee maker over here so on the second shelf here's my coffee maker and it's for K cups and then this little uh, cup I got from Walmart isn't that cute and then here is the pumpkin spice and the cinnamon and this leaf came from Dollar Tree so that's my second shelf then on the third shelf I just put my cinnamon sticks in one of the mugs and I have my mug tree and then from Trader Joe's here's the pumpkin spice rubios that looks really cute with this and then here are some of the napkins this is from the Dollar Tree and these are from Tracy from Holiday Cookie Diva 
So I put those in a little basket with more coffee. And on both sides are two pumpkins. So there is my bar cart for my fall decorating. Now let's go on to the hutch. Okay, on my hutch, here is a squash. It's supposed to be a squash. It's wood, and it's carved. It's beautiful. I got that from Albertsons, actually. And then here is the little pumpkin tin, and that was from Michael's. And I have little pumpkins up there on that. And then here is a candlestick with a candle. And there are the plates that I got from Walmart. And this Indian and Pilgrim I got from Albertsons as well, as with this big wooden pumpkin. And here's one of our cutouts that works perfectly because he's a little Pilgrim. And look. Thank goodness you're not a turkey. <laughs> and then I just have those on top of all of these pretty leaves with the grapevine twisted into it. And another candle holder, and there's one of our printouts again that works perfectly with this decor. And there's our wooden turkey that goes along with our Indian and our pilgrim. Then on the second shelf is another candle holder and there's those plates in the back. And this give thanks, this little crate was from Hobby Lobby and after the holidays I'll turn that crate around and keep it up on my hutch and put fruit or something in it. And here's another scarecrow along with leaves and pumpkins and here are the pumpkins that I made in my DIY. And here was my inspiration, and that is the wooden one from Hobby Lobby with the pumpkin patch sign that I got at a boutique years ago with more leaves. But here is the pumpkins that I made out of the uh, cardboard and paper towel rolls. And I just made the leaves and I put some wire for the curly cues. But I thought that looked so cute with pumpkin patch and then I just put these up there as if they were in a pumpkin patch. Again, these DIYs cost me virtually nothing and I think adds a lot to the decor on this hutch. So now let's go down to the last shelf. And here, again, another makeshift cupcake cake stand are two candlesticks glued together and a Dollar Tree sunflower plate and this is holding my faux caramel apples that I think look adorable with this hutch and then another sign that I printed out that says caramel apples along with more candy apples and beautiful green and rust leaves couple more pumpkins in a wire container and then here is the faux pie that I made some time ago and I did a DIY on that and everything that I'm showing you I have video tutorials for if you want to go and make some of your own so here's what the hutch looks like on this side now let's go over to the other side over on this side, this is what it looks like on the top shelf. I think you can see the plate a little bit more, and then I wanted to show you how pretty that turkey is. We had a beautiful boutique in the store that I worked at at Albertsons. It's a grocery store, but boy, I'll tell you what, they had a beautiful section. And that's where, like I said, that's where this big pumpkin came and the Indian and the Pilgrim. Very, very pretty. Um, here's another one of those buckets, again from Hobby Lobby, 95% off, paid maybe, I think it would pay $1.75, but look at how old and rustic it looks. Beautiful. And then I have some of these flowers from the Dollar Tree, and I there again is my inspirational piece from Hobby Lobby. 
and then I made my own over here. And then this welcome, that was from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. So here's how that looks on this side. And then here is another one of those little owls covering his eyes because he knows he's not supposed to be there. He's always by pies, always by pies. So there's my faux pie on a cake stand. Another candy apple with another sign, Harvest Blessings. And some more apples in this apple tin that I got from Michael's. And I think I paid a couple dollars for these two. They were on 50% off. And then here's my scale from Joanna Gaines, and I have some apples in that. So along with the pumpkins, I added apples this year. So here is what the hutch looks like from this angle. And then over here on the uh, high chair, I just put a bunch of fall leaves and this Hello Fall sign from Hobby Lobby. I didn't paint it or anything. I left it all natural. So that's what's on my high chair, because I always decorate that too. Okay, going into the formal living room, on this end table, I just have this cloche, and this is a picture of my son today, what he looks like, and when he was just a tiny little boy, and this was in fall as well, as you can see what he's wearing, this rust and uh, beige sweater. I remember that like it was yesterday. Isn't that weird how you can remember things like that? I can remember it so well. So there's a cloche with him and I put a pumpkin into the cloche and then here are more beautiful leaves I just love the colors love them and this autumn leaves I got this at a boutique as well this was handmade hand painted and that pretty and then here like I told you I was going to keep my fairy pumpkins jar that I made for Halloween I think he is perfect to stay up for my fall decor so this is my end table by my couch and my wing back. And then down here, this, I'm going to sit down here for a minute so I can talk to you guys. Oh, take a load off to be a <laughs> Down here, okay, this burlap little bucket was from Walmart and it was for Easter. So on the back of this bucket is the bunny. But I turn it around and use it all year. And here are my geese that I redid. I did a video on those, <clears throat> how I decorated them with the uh, lamb's ear and the cotton bowls. And so they're on both sides of my scarecrow that I made him. Oh my gosh, you guys. He is, let me think. We've been here 20, 24 years. This scarecrow has to be 32 years old, and I bring him out every year. <laughs> I really should make a new one. But look, that long ago, and look at the material. I just thought of this. Look, why didn't I think of that? It's chickens. Look at that, the little chick and the mommy. And then look up here are the cows. Look at that. I didn't even think it, I, it didn't even hit me until just now. But anyway, and I painted his face. So he is sitting in this little bucket with some pretty leaves and my clock. So he is right underneath my end table. with my cloche and my son and our fairy pumpkin light night light that I made. I love it. The other end table, these two owls I got at Michael's years ago at, during fall and they are little candle holders. And then I made these pumpkins, I made a tutorial on that last year. You can go look at that. And then here is another one of those owls holding a candle and then here are the pumpkins we made and these pumpkins okay these I made a pattern out of the Dollar Tree pumpkin and I put it onto cereal boxes 
and I covered the cereal boxes with scrapbook paper the colors that I knew I wanted to put in my formal living room and I made it shabby chic and the bows are just all kinds of pieces of ribbon and jute and a couple of leaves from a pick that I took apart and some burlap so see there how easy and some pearls and I do have a tutorial on these how to make them so that's on my end table okay And then over on my bike that I got from Michael's years and years ago, years, probably, oh gosh, has to be at least nine. I always put different flowers for different seasons. And I just have hydrangeas with brown hydrangeas and uh, floral flowers from Michael's for the fall. And this pick is from Hobby Lobby. So I just intertwined these into... The hydrangeas I have all year long, but I usually have purple hydrangeas mixed in with the white. So I just put those on my bike. And then over here on the coffee table, I got this Harvest Greetings, this acorn, last year from Hobby Lobby. And they had these acorns this year, and I think they're gorgeous, and they are big. I mean big big acorns and I just have those nestled into some really pretty baby acorns and leaves and then in this cloche I just put a couple more acorns and so that is its own separate little vignette along with this pumpkin that I have had forever in a day and this also came from Albertsons and it's galvanized but it's been painted with bronze paint and then over here is my tray, and I just have the other galvanized pumpkin that goes along with that other one I just showed you, and some picks, and flowers from Dollar Tree, and some acorns, along with this Gather Together sign from Dollar Tree with my pretty candle holders with tea lights. So that is my coffee table in the formal living room. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for being a part of my home tour collaboration for fall 2018. Again, I want to thank everyone that participated. Thank you so much, guys. I can't wait until we get together again. Until the next DIY, the next home tour, whatever we decide to do together, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.